Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please invite your friends, and uh, if you are a Muslim, invite the virgins. Uh, today, our topic is very, very unique, extremely unique. You know, I just discovered that Muhammad, he was Indonesian, and even Solomon, he was from Indonesia, brother. And I wonder... I mean, why I like I like really Indonesian food, Indonesian people, uh, Indonesian language, you know? They turn to be, they are my cousins. Like, hello, you know? Uh, you know, every day we hear different news from the Mohammedan, and the madness of this religion is beyond stupidity. Sometimes the word stupidity cannot explain stupidity. You know, I mean, it's, it, what's, what's stupidity mean? The, the, so it turned to be that there is a great temples uh, around the world, and uh, we are talking now about Indonesia, brother, uh, even Thailand. I mean, you know, this guy, Solomon, my, my friend, he was everywhere. I mean, you ask for Solomon, you go to Bangkok, you go to Jakarta. Actually, I just, I don't know, I just received the news that Prophet Muhammad was from Jakarta. And the reason they call him, like they call the, the, the city Jakarta, because he was a jackass. Uh, I'm just joking, okay? I'm not insulting Jakarta. I don't know what Jakarta means. But I mean, those people are really, really, really weird. They are desperate, totally desperate, to find something about the religion to make it something. So this is, uh, let me read for you in case you do not know uh, Filipinos, which is the language of uh, Jakarta, by the way. You know, in Brazil, when I was in Brazil, this is the language I speak all day. Non-stop. You know, I go to Brazil, I speak uh, Bangladesh language. What was our topic today? Oh, I forgot. Prophet Muhammad, I always forget him. He have a very short memory, flight of thought. So, Kalimaha, Tuhuri Baha Baradora Bara Alaha. Okay, okay, whatever, you know. Prophet, uh, okay. Controversy, so wild candy, Baradora Bor, Tingle Nabi Suleiman. Okay, what the, let us go back. Hold on, you know, what, what is this? You know, something fishy here. It says here, brothers and sisters. Candy brother, the Gahaman Oli Nabi Suleiman. So, you know, to make it simple for you, you see the sea in the front of you. It turned to be this uh, Buddhist temple. It's built by a prophet Solomon. And actually, the scientists, they could not really find any proof except the socks of a prophet Solomon. Now, what they did, and I'm talking about Muslim scientists, they took the socks of prophet Solomon. He left them in one of the bathroom there in, in the temple. And they took the DNA, because, you know, Prophet Solomon, he had different DNA. I'm telling you, you know. So they took the DNA from his socks. This guy, he used to sweat a lot. Imagine yourself flying the flying carpet and your feet in the water. And, you know, and the water is like, uh, you know, uh, 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 a sauna, you know. So he, he sweat. So they took the socks and they analyzed the, the, the DNA. By the way, in case you do not know what DNA mean, uh, I, I, I don't know what they teach you in school, but DNA, it's mean dumb and uh, nerd and alhamdulillah, you know, DNA. So uh, they took the DNA of a prophet, uh, uh, Solomon. They put his, some of his socks, because they can't put the whole socks. If you put the whole socks in the, in the laboratory, it will explode, you know. This, uh, is the smell will kill everybody. It's not like a weapon. So they took some DNA from uh, Prophet Solomon. They found it, the socks in this uh, temple. And they discovered that this temple was built by Prophet Solomon. Now, you might say this is not, you know, this is not logical. Well, this is in your stupidity. It's not logical. This is very logical. Jakarta belonged to Israel. And we are going to ask uh, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu to take it tomorrow. Benjamin Netanyahu is not the prime minister now. It doesn't matter, man. Who cares? The Jews are Jews. It doesn't matter what you call them. All of them are Jews. Jack Shalom, Netanyahu. It doesn't matter. So we are going to call them. 
No, we will say, guess what? Indonesia belonged to you, brother. Solomon, he was there in the capital of uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Jakarta. <clears throat> is uh, <clears throat> your capital. Uh, and, uh, you know, we will send them like a couple of thousands of Orthodox Jews. And uh, uh, Amar Rabbi Amman. Uh, I mean, I don't know what to say about this stupid religion. They went so far, and this sheikh, the one we are talking about, is the one who said that. The one who uh, who mentioned this. Uh... Yeah, I forgot to mention to you who is the scientist who discovered this. You know, maybe maybe you are not aware of the science. You know, some people they look naive, and they don't look smart, but in reality. They are genius, okay? So this uh, brother, mashallah, alhamdulillah, and look at the book. Behind him, it's called Al-Mu'jamul Kabir. And I'm sure he do not know how to read anything there. So he discovered that the Prophet Salomon, he built this temple, okay? Now, I don't know. This temple, actually, for me, it looked, to be honest with you, it looked like a Jewish temple. Let us, maybe we should take a look at it, you know? Uh, who who was there in this temple before? Any one of you who was there? Okay, I have a. I, I will tell you. I, I don't like to share things about me, but you know what? I was there when the Prophet Solomon he built it, and actually I remember he asked me to help him to carry some stones because you know at that time I was a genie. Okay, but I was like a big one, like not like the small genie you see him in the ball. You know, they had, in, in order to put me inside the ball, it was the ball, it was so big, like 17,000 uh, floor. Uh, so, like Prophet Solomon, he says to me, can you, uh, CP, can you give me uh, some rocks? So I, you know, throw rocks. And this is actually how, uh, you know, like, okay, just to tell you, I, but it was an accident. I throw the rocks to give him the rocks, not to kill him. And then I hit Solomon in his head, you know. And the Jews, they were so upset because now I killed their king, you know, because of my rocks. <clears throat> now, I forgot that Suleiman is so short compared to me. So when he said a rock, he was talking about a rock, like, you know, for, good for his size to carry, not a rock in the size of a mountain. So I grab a mountain, I throw it at him, and Suleiman was brother, you know. Yeah. So here we see Prophet Solomon, peace be upon him. Actually, I should... Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, even the Muslims, they have pictures for it. Can you believe it? Brother, the Muhammadan, there, there's a video in YouTube. I just discovered that. Hold on, hold on. Let me open this picture here. Look, 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 look. Things are getting complicated. I don't know where to go now. Brother, look the graphic. This is not a graphic. You might say this is a Photoshop. This is a Prophet Solomon. It says here, the Bangon Oli Nabi Suleiman. What is behind him? The Buddhist temple. Always I suspect Suleiman to be Buddhist. And I will tell you why. Suleiman, you know, from like the, the beginning of his life, he used to go to the walking street in uh, Bangkok. Whereas those, all those girls, you know, like wearing short and etc. And look at Solomon. Look what happened to him because he was walking in the street there. Do you see how shiny his face? Do you notice? This is because of how much light in the walking street in Bangkok they have. So he observed the radi radiation from the light because he's a prophet. And now, and look, he have a stick with him. I mean, you cannot be a prophet and you don't have a stick. You know what I mean? I mean, Musa's have a stick, so everybody have, have to have a stick. <laughs> Yesterday I was hiking and I saw a guy holding a stick. So I said to him, Assalamu alaikum, prophet. You know, you believe it or not, it turned to be this is Solomon. And he is the one who inspired me. He said, are you going, please, to make a video about me tomorrow? I said, who are you? 
He said, I am solo moon. I said, I can say you are a solo. What about the moon? He said, okay, look at the prophet uh, and look at the moon. Look at the prophet and look at the moon. And turn his right. I mean, the, for the face of the prophet, look, it's shiny. Now, the reason Muslims, they put those things because it's haram, brother, haram to make pictures. But isn't it, this is a picture of somebody, you idiot. I mean, this is the matter really now. Like, you hide his face, but it doesn't matter really now if he have if show his face or his ass. I mean, this religion is really, really weird. Now, anyone of here, uh, of you here, is not convinced that Solomon is the one who built this temple? Anyone of you? And look, 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 look. 301K uh, uh, one, view. I mean, it is not hard to fool the Muslims. It's not hard. 300, the, the one who viewed this video, uh, I don't want to play it. We will die laughing and they will report us for copyright. You know, even though, you know, Prophet Solomon is my cousin. Uh, so, uh, Prophet Solomon, yeah, he built this temple, you know. Let me remember what actually, there's, there's some incident happened there. When he was building the temple, I forgot, I forgot. Yeah, actually, this is the only temple in in all of uh, the world, okay, uh, which have an uh, iPhone charger. Prophet Solomon, because he was a prophet, is a Muslim prophet. You know, Jewish prophet, Christian prophet, they predict nothing, I'm telling you. The Muslim prophet Solomon is a Muslim. That's why he have genies and, you know, he, this is why he can have sex with all those women in one night. And even me, I cannot even do that. You know, like, uh, uh, according to Prophet Muhammad, he had sex with 100 women in one night. For me, I can, like, 99 maximum, you know, like, maybe, to be honest with you, not even 97, you know? I mean, come on. But 100, that's 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 exceed the limit. Yeah, I mean, even if eat, I ate baklava all day. So, <clears throat> true story, by the way, that was true story. So, Prophet Sanamun, I remember, uh, he told me, uh, yeah, uh, uh, you know, I want to install this jack. So I hold the rocks for him and we put the jacks between two rocks. And until now, if you go to this temple, you can charge your phone for free. And what does, what what happened, the rocks will, will work like solar, you know? Yeah, you know, this is, a, he's a Muslim prophet. He's advanced. So he's, the, the solar of the rocks suck the electricity, you know, the same as the Saudi, they suck your money when you go to Hajj because you're a fool. You are a poor. You spend all your life saving money to go to Hajj. And then the Saudi, they buy drugs with it and go to to go to Bangkok, have sex with girls. Unbelievable. The Saudi family. <clears throat> anyway, so this is, you know, I mean, this is I, I was I was first hand witness. There's different, by the way, between first hand and second hand. I mean, come on. If you buy second hand clothes, is it the same as first hand? No. Right. So, you know, you have to take that into consideration. So I was first hand witness for all of all those things. All those events happen. And uh, actually, the stick you see in the hand of, uh, of Solomon, do you see the stick? Guys, if you see the stick, tell me one. Give me one, please. Do you guys see the stick in the image or it's not showing for you? Anyone see the stick? Yeah, it is going to take someone to, uh, it's, uh, to be brave to say, you see the stick, don't you? Okay, I will tell you the story here. Do you remember the story of the king, the king who uh, wearing clothes but he is naked? You know. Okay, I will tell you now the story. This is stick. Only foolish people can see it. And now nobody will say, "I did not see it." <laughs> what is the stick? I did not see the stick. <laughs> this is a magical stick. Only foolish people can see it. What is that? Only foolish people can see it. Who saw the stick? Let, let me repeat the question one more time. <laughs> <laughs> what the stick exactly, Malaysian prophet? Oh, you are a prophet. No wonder you cannot see it. You are not foolish. I can tell. Indonesian <laughs> hey, Muslims, what's wrong with you people? I mean, this guy he built. Uh, he's a he's a Buddhist. So, like, is a Buddhist is his god or what? I mean, what's wrong with those people? How far does stupidity can travel, you know? I mean, stupidity does not need legs, does not need a spaceship, does not mean, you know, like just get the stupid person, he'll fly. Yeah, Suleiman, he built the temple, brother. 
And look what it says in the title, by the way. Look, the the bang gun. Did you did you notice what this word is? I don't know. Many of you, because you are not smart. The ban gun. So the stick in the hand of uh, Prophet Solomon here, it was his gun, you know. So he was using it as a D ban, like you know, like you know, you, you go deep, and after N, and then like you have the stick in your hand. D deep, uh, uh, by the way, deep was like a very well known beast at that time, very very big, in uh, Jakarta and uh, Honolulu. So like he, you know, he he put one one foot in Honolulu and one foot in Jakarta. Sometimes he put two foot in Honolulu and and his ass in Jakarta or versus versa, versus ass, whatever you know. So. He switched, you know, foot, and then <clears throat> Solomon, he came with this the, the back gang, gun, and he hit him between his legs. And the beast, like, you know, it, 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 even if you're a beast, you cannot, you cannot handle the, you know, such a hit in the, in the balls. I mean, just think about it. <clears throat> like, I remember once I was a kid, and there was a guy in front of me, and he's big, tall. I was a kid. So from all my from all my heart, it's it's not nice to say heart because I hit him in the balls. I hit him in the balls because he was like in the in the in the height of my head. <laughs> I mean that location. I hit him there, and uh, this is what is exactly that the bang gun. Okay, so uh, Suleiman, brother, this beast who was controlling this temple, which is a holy temple for the Muhammadan, and originally the Kaaba was there. By the way, the Kaaba was there. But when Mr. Diban, he took over the place, uh, Suleiman, he moved the Kaaba over, he put it in the flying carpet, he, he looked for a place, there's nobody there. He said, where I'm going to put the Kaaba, where I'm going to put the Kaaba, where I'm going to put the Kaaba, you know, bingo, you know, he went to Google, you know, he said, in the middle of nowhere. So Google, he said to him, uh, you know, Google is speak sometime, you know, it's like the voice of angels breathe. So he says, like, okay, in the middle of nowhere, go put him in Mecca. So, you know, Suleiman, he put, like, uh, you know, the Kaaba in the top of a flying carpet. He took it all the way to Mecca. He dropped it there, and he went back to fight the, the beast. And then when he killed the beast, he said to himself, you know what? The Kaaba is there. It's more secure. Those Arabs, they will never be able to do anything to it. They are Arab. What do you expect? Ask my cousins. So anyway, uh, Prophet Suleiman here in this scenario, and look, by the way, this is a dear picture, by the way. He took it as a selfie. Uh, because time will come, he knew. That time will come, and people will not believe that he is the one who built it. And you might notice that his clothes is clean. Yeah, because simply, he, like, he only he carried the stone which I gave him. But the rest, it was built by the, by the genies, you know? Like if we go in the Quran right now, uh, let us go to the Quran. <clears throat> What did me wrong discovery? Respect yourself. This is a very respected discovery. Don't listen to this guy. He's saying wrong discovery. You are a wrong uh, person to taste to say that. What are you talking about? Wrong discovery. You are right. Jealous. He must be a Christian kafir. You know he's jealous because we are, you know, we are ignorant and they are not. So don't don't listen to those uh, you know you know Christian people. Nasara. Alhamdulillah. We are Muslims. We kiss a stone, and we believe that God will give us endless penis. You know, that's an advance advantage, by the way. Nobody have it. <clears throat> so, if we if we try to find out why those people they are coming with this uh, stupid conclusion, uh, now uh, now I will switch to the serious point, okay? Because now we are going to open the Quran, and the Quran you cannot play with it. That's it. This is serious. No. Huh? So let me open the Quran. <clears throat> Peace be upon him. Uh, where is the Quran? Okay, this is the Quran. So we go to the Quran, hmm? chapter 34, verse number 13. And here you see in the translation, they hide the word statues. In Arabic, it says, وَتَمَثِيلِ تَمَثِيلِ in Arabic means statues. So you will not find it in most of the Islamic translation because they are trying to hide it's stupid i mean how those people they keep saying that islam is against idols and then we find the idols you know ordered to be built by allah uh, so here you see this is a different translation here we go in big Tile translation he was a little bit more honest than the rest of the liars he's a liar too he says 
they made for him that he willed synagogue, okay, and the statues, basin like walls and boiler built into the ground. So the temple we just saw, let us go back here. Actually, let me open more clear temple picture, you know. Uh, ah. Okay, this one is, uh, maybe this one is a better to explain to us the situation. Okay, give me a second to explain to you the situation. I mean, I don't know why this picture is not opening. It might be like, because he, this guy is, you know, very fat. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see this one. Okay, this one may be better. You know, this is what happened when you use those uh, security, change of location, things you make yourself look like you're in Indonesia or somewhere. It takes forever to open. Okay, let's see this picture here. Okay, maybe I should turn this, uh, those software, security software, turn them off. Okay, let's see here. Uh, we got one picture, uh, this one I could not open it. Let us try again. Uh, okay, I found a Muslim website now. Oh. Look in the Muslim website what the advertising I got. Oh boy. Uh, what, what, hold on, hold on. I'm going to change the topic. I think this is better than my original topic, you know. Let us see. Guys, just tell me, what do you think? I think this is a better topic than Muhammad and his stupidity and those shakes. Let us see. Hold on. I found an advertising. Which is very organic. You know? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying just my best to be more, uh, you know, friendly with you. Because I know most of you are ignorant. And hungry, and because you are hungry, I'm trying just my best. Okay, so now look, uh, I've opened the Muslim website to read about, uh, you know, uh, Prophet Solomon. So I came with this uh, advertising. Member Kian Hid Anagan Terbik Bigi Orange. There is only one orange here. Usually in Indonesian language, they say like orange, orange, like too many people, you know, like orange, orange. Orang, orang, you know, Tua, Adala, Sibiga, and look, she is wearing burqa. You know, that's, that what make this uh, food halal. It is halal, halawa, okay? This is halawa. So if you want halawa, and this girl in the burqa, she will take a motorcycle, and she will come to your home, and she will deliver. I'm going to Jakarta tomorrow. I mean, even halawa hamburger advertising have a burqa? Well, this is technology. Okay, let's see something else about the halal. Uh, you know, in their website it says Abu Yusuf. Abu Yusuf, are you sure? Are you sure you are not Om Yusuf? Uh, he is Abu Yusuf, not Om Yusuf. Hello. Respect yourself. So Abu Yusuf here is saying, let me put this in the screen for you. And this is the picture of the temple and there is Buddha there. Oh, I, I did not take a good selfie. I used to be professional in taking selfie, you know. This is why like, I was doing sell and fee. You know, like I sell pictures and I get the fees for it. This is where selfie is coming from. This is the origin of the language. You know, I always go to the roots. You know me. You know the thing. Like who created everything? The thing. Okay, so here we have, where, what is the picture? Look at the number of how many people watching. 444. Unbelievable. I, this will remind me when I was in the Philippines. The guy, he came to collect the money in the bus. He, he said, uh, I gave him the money. He said, sir, I'm going to give you back later 44 pesos. 
I said, okay, say it one more time and keep the money. And I made a big mistake. He keep coming back to me and says, sir, you want me to say 44? I said, no, no, that's it. One more time. One, one time deal. That's it. Anyway, here you see brother. Brother, alhamdulillah, brother, alhamdulillah. Who can beat this technology here? Brother. I don't know, text is clear for you. Let me try to uh, to uh, zoom in. So Mr. Abu Yusuf, he says, Boon Lama, let me translate to English because most of you are you know, ignorant as usual. You know, I mean, I, I don't blame you. You are not a Muslim. See, he says, note, long time ago, a writer, Fahimi Basaya, published a book entitled Burdor and the Relies of the Prophet Solomon, which said the word statues refer in the Quran, chapter of Saba, verse number 13, are the statues in the temple of Barbadur. He took the quote of chapter Surah Saba, chapter 13. The jinn made for Solomon what he wanted from the tall building and statues. So now he is telling you where the story is coming from, as I said to you. <clears throat> then he said, uh, Fahimi Basaya, Basaya, uh, the writer, interrupt the statues referred to the Quran statues located in the Barbardur temple. Then it's true, is it true that Prophet Solomon ordered the jinn <clears throat> to, <clears throat> let me, let me, uh, let me share with you. I don't want to share with you everything because none of you are still young, you know. Uh, now everybody will turn young, you know. Uh, <clears throat> let us see here. Hold on, hold on. I'm telling you, things are getting complicated. This is a, this is a major religion. There's no religion like this religion in the world. So uh, uh, I just uh, translated the page into English, okay, using my magical uh, stick. Uh, here it says, uh, uh, let us see if you can see it. Is it clear or not clear? Is it? Okay. So it says here, because actually the mission of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is for a human to worship Allah Almighty and fight from worshipping other than Allah. So look at this religion. We worship Allah and we kill the one who don't worship Allah. <laughs> and the message of peace. <laughs> Not a clear, Carolina? Corina, I advise you to change your position on saying not clear because this is, will be only not clear for those who they are not young. So, Corina, I'm going to repeat my question for you again. Is it clear or not? Who is a lady in the room? She don't see it clear now. Hmm? See, look at them. Whatever they are, nobody complain. And by the way, if anyone don't understand my topic, that's because you are too old. Anyone here don't understand my topic from the ladies? <laughs> Unbelievable. Very evil, very evil. Smash Allah. So here it says, as a proof in the Quran, proof. Look, so this is in the Quran, it's a proof. What do you want more? I mean, people, they might ask you, they might ask you, what is the proof? You say the Quran? <laughs> the Quran says. <laughs> you know the funny about this religion? Look, look, we have a girl. Her name is Pony Girl. What does that mean? You have a ponytail? Okay, I have a story about the ponytail girl who did destroy the temple of Suleiman, but not the one in uh, Jerusalem. No, no, no. The one here we are talking about in, okay. Once upon the time, Prophet Solomon, he was building a temple in Jakarta, in the middle of uh, Bali, you know, because Jakarta and Bali, but by time, flood, rain, you know, pollution, you know, global warming, you know, the, you know the thing. So, you know, Jakarta moved from uh, from uh, uh, Bali to, uh, to Bali, 
Anyway, so while he was building the temple, there was a pony girl, you know, from from you know they call her pony girl because she was coming from a girl from a town. It's called Pony. Uh, this uh, town, Pony, it's very famous. They have a lot, a lot, a lot of Pony people. <laughs> By the way, this is a true story. I mean, I don't know why people don't believe me, whatever I say. I mean, come on, it's true. The proof, the hadith, Sayyid Bukhari, brother, Sayyid Bukhari said that the Prophet said, oh, What's wrong with you? So, as a proof, we go back to the topic, forget about pony. Pony, you know, you, you take us away from our topic, may Allah, may Allah curse you and cut your pony. <laughs> so, here, as a proof in the Quran, there are many verses tell us, tell, tell how the Prophet وسلم, faces those who worship idols. Okay? Whether it was in uh, in the uh, Shanam, Watan, or Nawawasib, suppose this is Arabic, I don't know what it means. One of which uh, uh, is the story of Prophet Ibrahim, alayhi salam, who, for, uh, who fought idols. You see, I like to fight idols. Because idol, he cannot move his arm, you know. I mean, this is amazing. I can hit the hell out of him. <laughs> I, I once I, I went to the uh, uh, Wax uh, uh, Museum and I found the idol of uh, the stupid Muhammad Ali who converted to Islam and I was fighting boxing with him. I won. You know, he can't move his hands. It's, uh, you know, it's dead. So anyway, brother. So he fought idols, destroying the idols. Yeah, for sure he can destroy them. Yeah, it's very easy. And the idol where that uh, were made, uh, idol for his people, Allah Ta'ala narrated the incident in the Quran. See, the Quran is the record of history. As an example, the sun set in in, in a hot spring of water. Uh, somebody saying, "CP, your prophet also had idol. Too stupid." <laughs> no, Abdul, we don't. You see, our Bible condemns false prophet, and you are stupid. So when a Muslim he read our Bible, he don't read it from his eyes. He read it from his nose because his nose is so long for he lying all his life. Did you, did you watch the cartoon, the movie, like the guy who lie and his nose grow? That's you. Then they ask, are you who did this dead deed to our God, O Ibrahim? Ibrahim, okay, well, hold on, what does this have to do with the story when finding the temple in Jakarta or in Indonesia? Let us skip this uh, history now. Let us go down a little bit where, you know. Okay, so here, the Prophet Muhammad, as last Prophet, also destroyed the statues. Okay, hold on, hold on, you know, Abdul. As long as your Prophet, he destroyed the statues. So why the Quran saying, Allah, he told Suleiman to build the statues? Who want to solve this problem? His name is B. His name is what? Bing, Bing Q. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to pronounce an, an Arabic word because, by the way, this is an Arabic word. Hold on. Uh, Bing, Bino, Binocchio, Binocchio. Yeah, this is an Arabic word. The origin of this word can be found in the Quran, in the verse of you know chapter of the cow, because. Benekio, you know, originally it's a, it's a stoning character from the story of a prophet Moses, peace be upon him. There was a guy, when Moses, he go around, he spread lies that Moses, he have a bad testicles. And, you know, and the story grow. When CNN, Fox News, Jakarta News, uh, Halal News, I mean, everywhere, you know. Like, so this, whatever his name, I don't want to say his name again, because the enemy, he's the enemy of Allah, you know, may Allah curse him. So he spread the news that uh, uh, Prophet Solomon, he have, uh, why I'm changing the topic now, we are talking about the temple. But there's a connection between the testicles of Suleiman and the temple. I mean, come on, the same, you know, but uh, this is not Suleiman, this is what Moses, I uh, forgot, Moses, you know. Ah, yeah, yeah, Moses, you know, the testicles of Suleiman, nobody accused him. Yeah, no, you see, nobody can accuse actually Suleiman of his testicles because he, the guy, he he had sex with 100 women in, in a few hours. I mean, he must have like super nuclear <laughs> testicles. <laughs> Who can be those testicles? I think, I, you know, I, I don't know. I heard 
that Suleiman, he used to be able to break rocks with his testicles. Okay? True story. Uh, <clears throat> a Muslim, he is using Google, and he said to me, look, 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 this Muslim is a small. Anti takdibin kama kunti takdibin alayya tuwala tilka sinin. Hey, Abdul, are you talking to your girlfriend <laughs> or your wife? This guy is saying you are lying to me, but to a female, like you used to lie to me all those years. Abdul, so she lied to you all those years. Is that because you are a donkey or because you are a donkey? I mean, what's wrong with you? If she was able to lie to you all those years, that means you are a fool. Nice to meet you. Okay? Okay, now we go back to our topic. What was the topic? I forgot. Prophet Muhammad, I am. I forgot even what uh, you know where where what uh, if, uh, President Biden your name is Biden and she is you are the president she is his wife your wife ah uh, okay oh, all right so okay so yeah yeah <clears throat> so the article you know the article which is very amazing it says to be continued <laughs> I mean you know you know the, the the Muslims they are very good in drama so you start reading the article hoping that soon you will learn something. And you start reading and reading and reading and reading, and then you arrive to the end. It says to be continued. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now, what does have to do with our work? Where is the answer? Hey, Muslims, what is the proof that Solomon is the one who built this temple? Do we have any Muslim would like to volunteer and tell us where your fantasy? I mean. You see, we understand your prophet. You went to the seven galaxies, seven moon, whatever. Nobody saw him. Eh, you know, Muslims, they can lie as much as they want. But your lies now is exceeding the limit. I mean, this is really too much. Too much, too much. Too much, too much. <laughs> what kind of word this is too much? In which language? In the too much language. Hmm. Any Muslims? And you know, the funny is, Allah, he ordered Suleiman to build uh, temples with statues. And this cult, or this fake religion, they claim that they are against uh, idols. However, isn't it the Kaaba itself is a statue and you have a black stone present the vagina? And the funny is, the Muslim, they say that only Prophet Muhammad, he was sent to all mankind. But now we find that Suleiman, he was sent to Jakarta. <laughs> and in the Quran we find that Moses was sent to the Pharaoh and Aaron was sent to the Pharaoh <laughs> oh boy and in the Quran we find that the book of Jesus it's called Injil which is a Greek language so Jesus was sent to the to the Greek uh, uh, the Greek who they are in Israel <laughs> oh, baby. but look what happened here uh, the Quran, and this is what is important for us today in this video, in the Quran in chapter uh, 14, I don't want to take this picture off. I don't know how to how put together. I wish I can put the verse over this beautiful picture. This is remind me of my, when I was young, I was like shiny like this, you know, use polish. You know, I have the stick. And look, uh, Solomon, he is wearing the yellow belt. He is from Hezbollah. Did you notice? He is a supporter of Hezbollah. This is the, the color of the Shia. Remember, if you are a Shia and if you wear black shoes, it uh, it make your penis asleep and you will not be able to have sex. Okay? If you wear yellow shoes, that will make it like, zzz, 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 you know? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, this is proven to be scientifically uh, uh, true. Okay? This is, uh, I mean, just try it. How many of you here, uh, you know, wear black shoes? Be honest with me. If you wear black shoes, give me one. Like, all of them, they will say, no, I don't. I have wear yellow shoes. <laughs> Come on. Your wife is watching the video, too. We know what's happening. If you have a black shoe... <laughs> I mean, the Shia and the Sunni, they beat each other in their lives. You know, the Shia, 
there, there is a guy, he, his, uh, his wife, she give only girls. You know, it seems he, he, she, she have a child, she give a, a female girl, a baby. So he went to uh, the Imam Ali, Allahu Akbar. He told him what I should do. Hmm? What I should do? He said, when you do her, spank her. <laughs> and say, yeah, Ali. <laughs> so the woman, she is bending over. And I'm not going to describe what you are doing there. And now you spank her and you shout, yeah, Ali. <laughs> and then after you spank her, Seven spanks saying, Ya Ali, I guarantee you, you will have a son, he is a boy. True story. Now let us go to the Quran. Forget about the spanking business. Oh, I wonder how many people today are going to be inspired. Muslims, don't do that. This is Shia, I think. Okay, you are Sunni, don't do that. You know, you are a Sunni. You let your neighbor spank her, not you. Haram. You know, there's a, there's a Sunni guy, he said, it's haram for me to go in the bedroom. My the wife is giving delivery. So he asked his, uh, his neighbor to go in. So here it says, <coughs> chapter 14, uh, sorry, chapter 14, uh, verse number four. It says, Allah, he never sent a messenger except in the tongue of his own people. Why? So they might understand. Okay, makes sense. The, the Quran is saying something, something makes sense. This is unbelievable. This is a miracle. <sighs> Why we send it in the tongue of the people? In order to make it clear for them. So if you're an Indonesian, and if this is the Quran coming from your God, Allah, he sent the Quran in the tongue of the people. And the prophet, to be prophet to you, he should be from the people, speaking the tongue of the people. So Indonesian Muslims, Muhammadans, black stone kissers, was Suleiman or Muhammad from your people? Did they deliver to you a book in the language of the tongue of your people? Who is the stupid here? This verse alone is enough to prove Muhammad to be a scam. And let us uh, go to the, not English translation, you know. Let us go to the Indonesian translation, Bahasa. By the way, the word Bahasa is coming from the word Bahasa. Alhamdulillah, genius. Bahasa means he searched a lot, a lot, a lot, and then he found nothing. So here it says, let me read for you in case your language is not good. Kami tidak mintu gotos sirong rezabulan melani kan. Okay, here we stop because this is really deep, you know. We did not send any messenger, okay, unless he began bahasa, okay. He says, he bahasa, you know, bahasa, your tongue, all right. Koyoma nan sobaya iya dibat. Mimi Biri Binjalasan Dinang Taranang Tarang Kibada. Sorry, guys, sometimes I might make a mistake here and there because you know, like I, you know, like I think I just made one mistake. I don't know. And I know now the enemy of Allah, they will make a big deal about it because look, you know, he made a mistake in reading, he claimed that he read perfectly. You know, but it's okay, you know, it's one mistake sometimes, you know, we are human. Uh, America, yeah, you know, because like uh, if Allah want to send the Quran to the American, he will send it in the language, language of America, American, you know. Maka Allah mushrik musatakan siyaba young. This is the word everybody love, young, you know. You go to China, like, what is your name? Mr. Lee Young. Okay, what about your sister? She is, her name is Lily Young. Okay, what about your dad? He is uh, uh, Mr. Bruce Lee Young. Like, what the heck? The whole country is young. Nobody is getting old there. Anyway, so, Dia, Keda, Keda, you know, Kihani Diki, 
Yeah, this is Kahadiki. Is like I think I think it's a, like a dirty word. I, I'm not going to say it again. Forgive me, please. You know, I, I have to skip this one. <laughs> seventy out of one hundred. What do you mean? Oh, you mean seventy are correct? Oh, okay, seventy guys. This is a native speaker giving me a uh, rank. I get seventy correct words after of one hundred. Okay, now oh, hold on. First of all, this is not a true because how I can get 70 out of 100 if the whole words there are not even 40? <laughs> Do you see how I get them busted? <laughs> Don't exaggerate like the Mohammedan. How I can get 70 out of 100? So you are saying to me, I did read 70 words out of 100 correct. First, I did not finish the reading. Second, read the infitar. They think that they need to get a point. They think that I get 70% out of 100%. But I did not even read 70 words. So in the world, you know, I think you're you know, like, what the heck? <laughs> okay, okay. So, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, you're, you know, the Allah will give you for your line, okay? You are lying. You, know, you are being Abdul. <laughs> if there's anyone of you is hearing you, are you new? If you are new here, I advise you to leave because you will be addicted. First, you will gain weight for you. You will be laughing a lot. Secondly, your wife, she will divorce you because you will spend too much time listening to me. And then she will like, what the heck? Who is going to work? Not because she miss you, but she wants you to wash the dishes. Wash the dishes first. <laughs> and then come and watch my video. You know, or you can take the computer or your phone, put it in the counter. Okay, don't tell me now that you are the man with the muscles. All of you, you end up the day, wash the dishes. What happened to Prophet Muhammad? He washed the dishes to Khadija every day for that. And by the way, according to the Shia, that uh, Fatima, the daughter of Muhammad, when Prophet, he died, Jibreel, he spent the whole time with her. He wash dishes, he do laundry, he cook for her, and he tell her jokes. If somebody want to, you know, argue about it, we can show you the reference. Okay? Very normal. And, the, and what is killing me, doing the laundry. <laughs> Life is not fair. Life is not fair. Why, why one person, he got his laundry and his pant or she, her panties are done by an angel? And nobody want to do my laundry, you know? Unbelievable. We go back to the Indonesian uh, language, which is my language, my native language, you know, originally. I'm from Indonesia, as you know, all of you, you know that. Uh, you know, but it, it, the reason, by the way, some people, they might say to you, he's lying, he's an Arab. Uh, it's true, I'm an Arab, but I'm an Arab Indonesian. Okay? And I will tell you why. When I was in the airport of Indonesia when I was a baby, my mom, she gave me, when I was a baby, to an uh, Indonesian woman, and she did nurse me. According to Islam, she became my mother. So now I am what you tell me. Hmm? I got you busted. Okay? Hmm. This is the only religion. I mean, what this religion is weird. The prophet, he ordered adult women to give their breast to a stranger, and he is adult, and his, he have a beard. And yet they claim they are conservative. A woman, she have to cover her face, but she gave her boobs. That's fun. Okay, let us go back to the topic. So as you see in Indonesia and here, it says that Allah will never send the messenger unless he speak the tongue of the people and in the language of the people. So how you accept Muhammad to be your prophet? This is the book of Muhammad. Why is sent in Arabic? To make it clear, which means if it's not in Arabic, it's not going to be clear. Your book saying that, not me. So how in the world those Muhammad in Indonesia, they accept such a stupid prophet to be a prophet? He just uh, hit himself in the foot, if you have one. Uh... I hope your neck is well in uh, is well on your what what? I mean, some people languages is really weird. I don't know what is that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Rush, Albania Warrior, how are you doing? Hope all is well in your neck or the wood. Okay. Sound like Quran for me. Guys, I just discovered a synthetic medical. Look like if you, <clears throat> there's a connection between your neck and the wood. <laughs> if your neck is good, you know, you hit. <laughs> Uh, you know, people culture is really funny. Like knock the wood, knock the wood. Uh, okay. <laughs> now your neck is good, man. That's it. As long as you knock the wood, you are safe. Don't knock, don't knock the floor unless it is wood. Okay. Don't knock David Wood. <laughs> just, just joking, just joking. Okay. Hmm. Uh, your neck of the woods, your area. Supposedly, a pony girl, she explained it. She is a dictionary. Your neck equal to your what? Just let it go. Just, I mean, don't make it difficult on people. Come on. Don't be upset, by the way, because if I, I said what I said, and if you get upset, just take some uh, aspirin, you know, it's okay. So, anyway, when we go back, so how in the world? Suleiman became a prophet to the Indonesian and how he went all the way to Jakarta and how Muhammad became a prophet to the Jakartan and what's wrong with those people? Do you people read? You see, we are showing your language. It says, he will, Allah will never send, I never send a messenger except in the tongue of the people. And this is what he said uh, in, the, in the time of Muhammad. Uh, what is this worship statues? I don't know. Make your question clear so I can answer you, my friend. Your question is very complicated now. Such a question need, uh, you know, need some uh, help. Discovery channel stuff, you know. Yeah. Uh, do we have any Muslim have any comment? Any Mohammedan have a comment? Nobody have a comment? Okay, any Mohammedan don't have a comment? I mean, I, I give up, you know? I mean, who is a Mohammedan have a comment? Nobody. Who is a Mohammedan don't have a comment? Nobody. I mean, those guys, they have no comment and they don't have comment and they will not even say we don't have comment and we don't uh, have comment. You know? That's something. Beautiful, beautiful. Be that's deep. That's very deep. Amar, Rabbi, Amar. Anyone have a question? That is a tra translation of the Ministry of Religion, not the English translation. So they like to make the book Indonesian, their Minister of Religion, but not European countries. I don't know what you are saying. Guys, is the translation correct? The one I'm showing the screen? Is the translation I'm showing the screen is correct? Or I need to change it? We can change it. I think they have another translation. Indonesian, Quraysh, Swahib. Oof, 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 oof. All of this is the translation for, you know, 10 words in Arabic. I mean, this guy, he have a lot of time to kill. Tidak, Sirang, Rasul, Punyang, Kami. Putus, Sabalamu, Wahi, Muhammad, Kokoli, Barbecue, Dikan, Bahasa, Yang, Dikokan, Ili, Kokaman, Agi, Agar, Mika, Merka, Karnava, Dapt, Memi, He, Dani, you know, okay, this is enough because you know this is too much here, like you know, education. By the way, I decided to open a classroom to teach uh, Bahasa, Bahasa language. So if you are a person who 
you know, like, you know, like having difficulty in reading in the Bahasa language. I can conquer the language for you. <laughs> I can cut it pieces as you never seen before. <laughs> I'm not adding words. What are you talking about? See, guys, they accuse me falsely. It's recorded, recorded. It's recorded. Okay, let me read again. Latidak Berkawiji ban Mambut Merkava. Merkava is a, like a is a Russian uh, uh, like a, uh, uh, you know like fighting truck. Bainar, Bainar, Bainar. This is two Bainar. I think there's a typo there. <laughs> Oh, what? I learned that one sentence. You re all of this reading, you learned one sentence? I feel sorry for you. I mean, come on. If your wife is the one giving you the order, you will learn it in two seconds. But for me, yeah, right, you know? I wasted my time here. Can I sleep on this? Is that English supposedly? How do you want to sleep in the Quran now? You respect the education program. Uh, search for Kazakhstan funny news. It sounds like vehicle language. See, vehicle language. And, you know, we are not making fun of the language. You see, we are just having fun of the stupidity of Muhammad. I love Indonesian people. I respect them. But... <clears throat> Uh, I wonder how, how Indonesian Muslims, they see this and they still stay as a Muslim. Not to forget like the Quran, you know, I know the translation is full of lies. Like the sun set in water, they say it appeared to the Quran. Did you ask yourself why it says that? I mean, this book is a book of fairy tales full of stupid stories. Uh, <clears throat> Mansoor, man, CP, never bother your stupid comment here. Where is Mansoor? Mansoor is making comment? I did not see Mansoor. He's so small. You are so cute, Mansoor. Can you make a comment, please? So we can put it in the screen. I did not see Mansoor. Come on, let me go back in the text. Uh, Mansoor, Mansoor, Mansoor. I don't see Sarsoor. I mean Mansoor. Where is Mansoor? I don't see Mansoor. Are you sure, guys, Mansoor is here? How come he don't show on my screen? Maybe he's too little. You know? So, Muslims, how in the world you come with those conclusions? That Suleiman, he went to Jakarta and he built a two Buddhist temple just because the stupid Quran says uh, that the shaitan, they built timber for Suleiman. And how in the world you accept a book saying to you that we are fighting against idols? The same book says that Allah, he ordered his prophet to build statues. Statues of who? Buddha? He said calling people stupid is not professional. Well, I agree with you. It's not professional. Okay, I will, I will change it. Donkey. Uh, I hope you are fine now. You see, I mean, the stupidity is amazing. His book called none, the, the one who read the books to not understand them, he called them donkeys. If I use the, the, the language of their book, they get upset. So stupid is not professional, but calling people donkeys is okay. Is it your, your book, your idiot says, those who carry the book in their back is like donkeys. Is that your book? Is your book calling people pigs and monkeys? Not just filthy? And you are talking about profession? Ah, are you saying that Allah is not a professional? He is not, brother. Uh, look what your stupid Quran says. And by the way, this verse perfectly with your prophet because he carry books but he cannot read them read carefully here 
the similitude of those who were in charge of the obligation of the our mosaic law, uh, but who, I mean, the translation is really weird. That's a shame to translate. What, what the heck is that? What a charge? What potato? Uh, Yasser Qadi, he says, Yosef Ali, he do not even understand Arabic. <coughs> So how the guy, he just translated the Quran. The likeness of those who are entrusted with the law of Moses yet apply is not his likeness of ass carrying a book. Are you there, Mr. Ass? May Allah ask you. So if I say stupid, you get upset. But calling a nation asses is okay. Now, if we compare really between the Jews and how smart they are and the Muslims, who is the ass? Hmm? Are you there? Who is the ass? Look at the Jews. Even in the time of your false prophet, they made the city of Yathrib heaven. This is why Yathrib was a flourishing. They come to a desert land. They did agriculture and they uh, grow trees and fruits and vegetables in the middle of the desert. Who is the asses? Go and see the land of Israel. It's a desert. All those years is in the hand of the Arab. What the Arab did? What the Arab did? They brought their goats to eat everything alive just to make some milk. The Israeli took the desert and now it's a green like heaven. It's, it's, it's the truth. Who is the best at making machines for the technology, the computers, all your computers, the chips, you know, who? Who is the best in computer, in software, the best in, in, in nuclear, the best in, those are the Jews. Who is the asses? Uh, any person who use bad language, Shabir, uh, admin block him anyone use bad language in the chat using the effort he will be blocked don't tolerate maybe you just and uh, like give him time out next time he do it block him anyone will use it doesn't matter if you're insulting Muhammad or anyone else don't use the effort wash your mouth uh, so as you see, this religion is really stupid, full of stupidity, nothing makes sense. And yet they claim that they are the one who is, look at the verse in front of you. Allah trusted the Jews to protect the Torah. But isn't this a proof that Allah cannot be God? Because if I trust you as a human and you fail me, okay, because I do not know the future. You trust somebody, and then this buddy, he betray you, right? How you trust, how the word of trust come to, to work. In the moment, you think that this person is good because you do not know tomorrow. If I know tomorrow, I will not trust the person who is bad, right? So when Allah, he trusted the Jews to protect the Torah, that is a proof that he is not God. Because this is an action of a human being who do not know the future, not a God who is the eternal and he is the divine and he is the living God. He can see the future. Especially the Muslim, they believe that Allah, he wrote your destiny. So how you trust them in a destiny you wrote, you idiot? You know what I mean? How you trust them in a destiny you wrote. You wrote that they will be cheating. You wrote that they will decorrupt their book. And then we go in the Quran, we will find that the Quran confirmed the Torah. Stupid religion. Stupid prophet, what you can say. Yeah, you see, I'm, I'm, I will try to focus more and more in Indonesia because they are mistreating the Christians. So I will really focus in Indonesia. This, this is why you see my videos coming one after one about Indonesia. They mistreat you more, I will expose them more. They forbid you from building churches. Our churches, nobody can stop it from being built because our church first in our heart. 
And we are the church. Church is never was a building. Jesus never built a church. Never. Uh, Mansoor man. You see Mansoor, you are just an idiot. Okay, do you like to call me Mansoor? I will open Skype for you. You read for me Genesis chapter 32 verse number 2 and John 1 and we will see the contradiction. Is that fair people? Is that fair? So Mansoor, do you dare? If you dare, I will open Skype just for you, Mansoor. But you are a bit theater, and you know you will get you busted. And not only that, I will show you, the, show you the same topic in your Quran, and you will cry. So what do you think, Mansoor? Do you dare? Hmm? Do you? You don't. You are a bit theater like your prophet. You know, people who believe in Quran, yet they speak about contradiction. I can refute all what you are saying from your stupid Quran. Is it your Quran, you idiot, say is confirming what is with them? Is it? I mean, how stupid this religion is? I cannot believe how stupid this religion is. His book is saying confirming what is with them, and he wanna try to find a contradiction. And then he go to Genesis, and he say this is contradiction with John one one. You stupid idiot! How Genesis and John one one would be contradiction? Somebody tell me. <laughs> oh boy. Be a man, Mansoor, and call me so we can let you in the mic and you explain. Yeah, I don't understand. So why you don't call me? And my friend, why you don't want to call me and explain? What, what is the problem, Mansoor? Are you, a, are you a female? Be honest with me. Are you afraid that if you call me, you are going to lose your virginity? You are a man, and look at your. Do you have a beard? It looks like you have a beard. So why a man with the beard don't dare to call me and stand and speak with loud voice and show the Christians how strong, smart he is? But obviously you are like under the table, you know, hissing like a cat, meow meow, from time to time. So you get spanked. You like it? You remind me of the guy who went to hunt the lion. He asked them where I can find a lion. They said to him, well, there's a big tree in the middle of the wood. Go there and you will find him asleep. Be careful. You better kill him before he wake up because if you wake up, that's it. You can't kill him. He will eat you. So this guy, he went to the lion. He found him as they describe under a big tree. He have one shot with him. He shot at the lion. He missed. This lion is a dirty lion, my friend. He's like your prophet. He said to him, hmm, now listen, you have one of two options. Either I eat you or I do boom, boom to you. Which one? The guy, he said, okay, well, boom, boom. So the lion, he did boom, boom to this hunter, which is his name is Mansoor. Mansoor comes second day. And now he have two bullets with him. He found the lion in the same place. He shot at him twice and he missed. The lion woke up again. He said, Mansoor, you have one of two choices. <laughs> Either I eat you or I do boom, boom to you. Mansoor said, okay, alhamdulillah, boom, boom. So he did two boom, boom to him. Mansoor, he come back in the third day and he have three shots. He found the lion under the tree again. He shot at the lion. He missed the three shots. The lion, he did the same as the day before, but a three boom boom. Mansoor, he came for the 10 time, 20 time, and then he came with the clashing cough. It have 30 bullets. This is after many, many days of shooting and missing. He came 
to the tree. He found a line in the same place. He loaded the gun, chick, 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 you know? And 30 bullets, and he missed. The lion woke up, and he was really, really pissed off. He said, you, Mansoor, are you really coming here to shoot me or to be... <clears throat> so, Mansoor, you come to the lion every day, and you always miss. It looks like you are doing it on purpose. And then the lion, he did him 30 times. And he said to him, be honest with me. Are you here to be killing me or to be? <clears throat> this is you, Muslim Mansoor. <laughs> By the way, this is a true story. This is a very, very horny, uh, horny lion, you know. Prophet, he's a prophet of Allah too. He's a Muslim prophet. Dahman, <laughs> Dahman. Yeah, so he did him 30, because 30 bullets, for every bullet he will do once, you know. 30 bullets, I mean, have you ever heard of somebody shooting 30 bullets at a lion and all they miss? I mean, you are shooting where exactly? <laughs> oh boy. And this is Mansoor, he come here every day, he, did, he say the same thing, and he don't dare to debate, he don't dare to call us, he's a potato. Look what he's saying, now he's, he's playing victim, and Mansoor is a victim now. A Arabian prophet, you are messed up in your head. In Islam, all you think is about, man, I do not mean to be a tenogoistic toward the Christianity, but you force me. You stupid idiot, son of Muta. You are talking about, this is what I think, man. Isn't it your God? He promised you to F none stop. Why you don't say that you're God? Isn't this your religion? Do you dare to call me right now and tell me what you will be doing in heaven when you enter the heaven? The first night, the first day, the first moment, I can show you the reference. Women will jump on you and they will start sucking you. Literally. And now you are playing like, this is all what you think about Christian brands. Stupid idiot. Look who is talking. <laughs> Look who is talking. Isn't it your prophet he promised you endless penis? Hey, Mansoor, how many foot you are? Five foot, six foot? How you can walk with this endless penis? And then, are you going to change your name from Mansoor to penis? Because how we can recognize you? We cannot see you. Like you will be five foot, but your penis is in this. We will recognize you by your penis. Hey, the penis is there. Guys, did anyone see the penis? Yes, the penis is there. But we cannot see Mansoor. Where is Mansoor? Mansoor is five foot. How big is the penis? Is in this. And Mansoor is complaining, following a faithy prophet, a child molester, and he's talking about, what are you talking about? Is that your level? Like, look who is talking. All right, we have only 582 people. I'm really upset now. And because I am really upset, I decided to cut my broadcast after two hours. And that's it. I cannot take it no more. I'm really upset now. You know? 582. And we are talking about endless penis. I mean, the topic alone will bring like millions of people alone. But what we can say, CNN will never report that. <laughs> oh boy. Who is here first time? If you are here first time, give me one. We know that Mansoor is first time here. That's don't forget about Mansoor. You don't vote, okay? Because Mansoor, he will forget how many times he came here. We think this is the first time. He's a Muslim. They forgot. You know, the Prophet, he forget Quran. Can you believe it? This guy, he forget everything. He say a verse in the morning. He forget what he said at night. Can I call in a CP? Okay, Amir at Tawheed. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can open my Skype for you. We will use a Skype because some... Uh, Idiot in the other day is Muslims. He was playing porn uh, from the heaven of Allah. Well, where is my Skype? You believe it or not, I deleted my Skype by mistake, maybe. I don't have a Skype. 
Man. Hold on, hold on. Let us find the solution. I don't even remember the username, the new username. What is the new username? What is the user? Uh, the uh, <laughs> I mean, the new Skype. I cannot find it in my application. Uh, <clears throat> we don't want to use this uh, program because people will start, to, you know, non stop. Uh, how we can do it, how we can do it. Guys, somebody re remember what was my uh, my uh, name in the... Hold on, let me try. I'll try to remember. I will, don I will download the Skype, you know. Uh, let us go out of the screen. Skype, download. Okay. Skype. How I delete it? I need to remember the, the username. Okay, computer, Mac, okay. We are downloading. I hope you will uh, remember the username and uh, the password is not a problem. But uh, I forgot was what was the username. Okay, we open Skype. Install. All right, now we open it and let us try our luck. Open. Okay, now we are opening. No, the TV I'm not using no more. I made a new account. Let us see, sign in or create. Hmm. Which email I did use? Let us see. Oh. This account is not exist. Okay, let's try this. This account is not exist. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. I will search for what uh, Lisa she posted. Maybe I can find it by copying that thing. Hold on, hold on. Cancel. You guys still hear me? I am back. Am I still here, heard? Yeah, I need to find out what is my... Uh, I don't know how I did, uh, the, the, you know, deleted. Hmm. Mansoor saying, if you can prove the chain of narration, 
<laughs> you know, the funny is, the Muslim is asking me to prove that Muslims are not lying. <laughs> That's what he's saying. He says, CT, if you can prove to me that we are Muslims, we are not lying, you are my hero. Abdul, this is the point. You are a bunch of liars. So you are saying to me now that the chain of narration is, is not true, which means you Muslims are a bunch of liars. You make books about your prophet, which is not true. Good for you, Mansoor. I mean, this, you are so sore, not Mansoor. I mean, look what you just said. Stupid. Hey guys, what is the name? Uh, what is the name I'm using in uh, Skype? The new account. Uh, Lisa, can you post like uh, the details about how to find my, my name? I will search it. How to find is my Skype, the one in, you know you're posting. Post it again so I can copy it. I'm trying to find what is the, you know I for I really I forgot. This is what happened to you when you were 17 and older. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I will not make another account. There is no need. Okay, hold on. Let me copy. But I think I cannot search this unless I am joining in Skype. Right? I think Skype will not allow me to join. Uh, It says enter valid. I don't even remember the name. I mean the email I used. I need to check my emails one by one. Let us see this one. Uh, Looks like I'm logging in. It says help us to secure your account. Uh oh. It's given me an old email I never used anymore. Ah, took me out. Okay. Let us see. Hold on, hold on. Let me try to find in my email. Okay, let's see. Maybe this one. Let us see. As, uh, sorry, guys. Maybe next time I will I will do it because this will take time. Um, I'm trying to find out. Maybe uh, this time it will work. We just hope so. Okay. And now we need to enter the password, which is in the size of a train. And let us hope my passwords are extremely long. Longer than the penis of Allah. <laughs> I'm joking. It's shorter. What are you talking about? Uh, okay, hold on. <clears throat> okay. Uh, 
Let us enter. Sign in. It says incorrect username and password. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um, not good, not good. Did I enter the password wrong? No. Let us do it one more time. It says not right. I don't want to make a new account. All right. One more time. Let us see. Wrong. It's wrong too. That's it. Yeah, it's not allowing me to get in. And uh, either the username or the password. I don't think the password is wrong. This is the password I use for Skype. It's like 27 mile long. Um, it is. Hey guys, this will be boring now. I'm uh, looking for uh, a Skype. Maybe not a good idea now to do it. Um, Skype. No. Well, we we are not successful for today. Uh, you know uh, what's your name, uh, Amir? I have a solution for you, actually. Uh, what about you go and text me in Patreon? So we share the link. Would you only to call? Can you do that? Because I don't want to post the link here. I can make a link to call, but we have many trollers here. The second we post the link, they will start calling and they are idiots. Uh, Mansoor saying, Mansoor is being smart now. He says, hey, Christian Prince, don't be, uh, you know, the Catholic, they have additional. No, they don't have additional. This is the same book, you idiot. You know, the Bible is a book of books. The Bible is a book of books, which mean either we can have certain books in the same cover, between two cover, or we don't. As an example, we can have the book, according to John, in one by, by itself. Uh, so what the Catholic they have, they have a books of tradition and they add it to be part of the Bible because this is the history of the church. But they don't have different books from other churches. You are an ignorant, like your prophet. And any book, as you call it there, a pro uh, for whatever, those are not book you either. This is not our books. Those are books Muhammad he took from. You are stupid. Uh, is Amir there? Amir, you can text me in Patreon and I can send you a link in Patreon so you can join us. You know what? Let us do it here. 
if uh, if we have some trollers will will start you know calling then we will find different solution I, i'm going to end my stream soon anyway Okay, hold on. All right, let's just to solve the problem with Mr. Amir. Are you there, Amir? Give me one. Uh, Amir, are you there? Oh, okay, here we go. This is the link. Just join me, only you. No, you can bring with you any guest you wish, you know, no problem. You know, yes, uh, two days ago, we have, uh, we have an idiot, Muslims, playing porn. This is why we don't want to use those kind of, uh, we want to use a Skype only. But anyway, as long as Skype is not functioning now, <clears throat> we will take you without Skype. I'm waiting for you. Uh, please help us with the link for your reference of Sahih al-Bukhari, Book of Fatu al-Fatuh, Hadith number 45999. My friend, I have a video about it. This is not, this is, it says Sahih al-Bukhari, but this is the interpretation of Sahih al-Bukhari. Those are a bunch of idiots who do not know what they are talking about. You can search yourself, you will find the reference. Those idiots, they saw they the word Sahih al-Bukhari, so they said, oh, this is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is not what it says. Read the name of the book, read the writer, and you will find that this is interpretation of the story from Sahih al-Bukhari. I had, I had a video about it. Just go and watch it. And the funny is that we can find reference Muslims cannot find. Isn't it funny? They don't even know how to read their books. All right. Let us see if this is Amir. Amir, give me one in the chat first before I put you on to be sure this is you, not somebody using your name. Give me one in the chat to be sure that this is you. <clears throat> All right. So we have Mr. Amir with us. Go ahead, Mr. Amir. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Um, yeah, I spoke to you ages ago. Huh? Um, on your old... Hello. Yeah, can you hear me? Your voice is cutting a little bit. Go ahead, speak louder. I'm up all the way on my end. If you have an additional applications running, turn them off because it looks like your internet not good. How about now? Is it better? Yeah, it's good. Go ahead. Yeah, I spoke to you. I don't know if you remember. Your voice, Amir, is coming like you speak two seconds and we hear nothing then. Okay. Um, let me just turn off the mic and turn it back on. I don't think it's the mic. I think you need uh, better internet. If you can maybe change your location, I'm not sure. Um, change my location. Okay, now I hear you. Go ahead. Let us see. Now I hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, now it's good. Go ahead. All right. Uh, I spoke to you a while ago about 
the, the wisdom. I don't know if you remember. But what wisdom? I don't know. Go ahead. Remind me. The wisdom of God. I asked you. Which, who... which, which God? Um, the... The what? I lost you, Amir. Your, your internet is really bad. Hello? Hello? Well, I don't know, Amir. You know, I will, I will hang up on you. Uh, maybe change your Wi-Fi, change your thing, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, join me again. <clears throat> All right? Find a way to fix your voice because we hear nothing. I heard you saying the wisdom of God and that's it. Okay, let's see now if it's going to work. Yes, I'm here. Do you hear me now? Hello? Hello? Uh, I don't know. You know, the reason I wanted to talk to Emil because I saw him making many comments. He want to talk to me. And now, look, you know, like we don't even want to use this program to call, but even this one is not working. Amir, we don't hear anything. I'm going to hang up on you now. Uh, restart your contact or your phone. I don't know what is the problem. And join me again. Yeah, I, I'm just giving him time, and we are waiting, you know. We are waiting. We hope that he will join us, because I want to really hear what he want to say. And that's why I wanted to talk to him, because he posted many times he want to talk to me. Maybe we can sell, save his soul from the evil of Muhammad and the cult of Islam. Can I use my... Uh, Christian Prince videos, yes, you can. Just be sure, please, to mention that this is you are not Christian Prince and you are just a translating. All right? So you got my permission, my friend. Um, yes, Emil, go ahead. Hello? Amir? Well, what we would do, I mean, his voice is not even coming. <clears throat> Are you there? Well, he's, uh, he's not, you know, we are not able to put him in. So we do not know what to do. Yeah, don't blame Amir, blame Allah, because Allah is the one who gives him connection or not. Allah, obviously, he don't want him to talk, brother. All in the hand of Allah. Allah, he want me to talk? He don't want him to talk. No, Amir, if I can hear you, everybody will hear you because your voice is coming automatically inside the program. Call me again. Try one more time. Be sure, like, stop YouTube. Stop YouTube for now. Okay? Call me and stop YouTube. Stop anything running in your phone or your computer.
Hello? Hello, can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you now. Go ahead. Go ahead, Emil. Go. Can you hear me? Clear. I don't want to be I talking. I do. I do. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's fine. It's better than before. Go ahead. I talked to you a while ago about the wisdom of God and who who it was. Do you remember who our is? conversation? No, I don't remember. Who is God you are talking about? The Which? the only God. What? What? The only God that there is. I'm only aware. Of. Who, who, well, no, who is the only God there is? You believe in Allah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the one that created Jesus. Well, okay, okay, hold on. You are saying that Allah created Jesus? Yeah, the first creation. Okay. okay, the one who created Jesus, is he the one who created you too? Um. I'm listening. The one who created Jesus, according to you, is he the same one who created you? So, yes. So, how the one who created you, you do not, he do not know how you are created? Sorry? How the one who created you, he do not know how you are created? He doesn't know how I'm created? No, he do not know. Really? Yeah. Go cool, right now. We can open the Quran. From your side, uh, you do not need to go to Google, you know, I mean to YouTube, if your internet is bad, but you can open the Quran from your side, and we go to chapter 24, and we will see that your God saying that the baby created from Nutfa, which is a yeah, semen. That's the, that's, that's the baby, that's the baby, that's the flesh that comes from the ground. Yeah, ground. Oh. yeah but what, what, what a flesh, let us read together, and we will see that this is going to be God. If, if, if Allah is the yeah, one who created the baby, should, he shouldn't he know how the baby is created? Read with me. It says, then he made the sperm into a cult of congealed blood. Then, yeah, and then it says the bones, and then the bones were covered by the flesh. Yeah. Okay. Is, I know is, what is the sperm, is it true scientifically that the sperm become dead blood? Scientifically? Yeah. Uh, no, I think that, that was from no. um, an old. Uh, I remember what his name was. It wasn't Sando, it was some it was someone from else that, that came up from from up with, uh, I think Galen. From maybe Galen. Uh, so are you saying to me your your God Allah is copying somebody? No, I'm not saying Allah is copying somebody. I'm saying that people themselves they can take out things from any scripture. And what do you mean? We believe all the scriptures. Your God here, your God Allah here, is talking about how He created the baby, and you are saying no, the baby is not created this way. Because that's not Allah speaking right there. Who who is speaking? Someone, so, uh, some, someone. We, I don't know their name. Just as humans, they they can inject and they can take out things from any scripture. Scripture as what they have no, done. No, the Quran, the Quran, the Quran, the Quran. Yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I'm talking about the Quran and all the scriptures, all the scriptures. Okay, so you all are truth. saying. So you are saying. Okay, so you are, Okay, well, Amir. So you are saying the Quran is not from Allah. Um, um, the the real Quran is from Allah. The Quran that we have on paper, not all of it. It's been manipulated by by certain Muslim groups. We don't we don't, we don't know who they are. To fit their agenda, okay, yeah, and not just the Quran, okay. So now, me and uh, Amir, you know, we, we, we are getting the discussion to be better and to understood each other. He believes that the Quran we have today is a you know, is a false book, and uh, not all of it, not, not all of it, not all of it, but there's, there's oh, parts oh. in it that you. Can you give me? Can like, you, okay. Can like you this. give me? Okay. It, it, there is one verse in this book is not made by somebody up. One verse. Um. Yeah. There's many verses. Uh, like the what? Verse. Uh, uh, sorry. What? When that was from the command of my Lord, who's the who is the command? 
Okay, okay. So this is from your uh, from Allah. <clears throat> yeah, the the one that's your... speaking here, the one the, the one that's okay. speaking here uh, is okay. is the wisdom. Yeah. Okay, no problem. So, guys, the wisdom is speaking is is Allah is a wisdom or he is Allah? No, he's of the wisdom. He's what? He created the wisdom. He's above the wisdom. So Allah, Allah in the beginning, he don't have wisdom, then he created the wisdom. No, he's above wisdom. He created wisdom. Well, why, if he is above wisdom, why he need to create wisdom if he have already more, more, more than wisdom? So people can get close to him and know him through his what, wisdom. What, uh, okay, hold on. Uh, through his wisdom, we can know Allah, but you said Allah is above the wisdom. Can that something is above make it yeah. more clear to us from something is lower? Sorry? Is the wisdom of Allah is lower than something else Allah have? Uh, huh? I did not hear you. That doesn't... It, it doesn't. That doesn't make sense. He's above wisdom. Well, you, are, you, you are the one who's saying. saying you, are, above, you are the one who's saying. Being wise. Okay. You are the one who said that Allah, He is above the wisdom. Yeah. Because yeah, He created wisdom. Okay, but that's mean so in if, a certain if, point. If, if wisdom. But this is meaning. Okay, no problem. In certain point. Above the wisdom. My friend, in, in certain point, Allah have zero wisdom. He created the wisdom. After that point, no. Allah beyond just. You just said, if you, you would just say said, God, you God, just said, yeah, God. you just said he he created the wisdom. So before that point of a creation, there was no wisdom. No, there was wisdom. The way you guys but understand, you just, your, your, your but you just said he created the wisdom. You just said he created the wisdom. Yeah, that's right. But this is from the Bible means, as well. Well, the wisdom was okay, created. No, uh, no, you see, no, there's a wisdom of man and there's a wisdom of God. So wisdom of man, we, we learn, and that we call it wisdom. Like when you grow up uh, by age, you have more wisdom. Why? Because you learn from life. You learn from history. You learn from people before you. You learn from books. You learn from holy scriptures. But uh, we're talking about Allah himself. Was the wisdom exist with Allah or Allah created the wisdom for Allah. He created the wisdom and it existed with him. It was by his side like a little child. Okay. Okay, you see, I will go with you. And, so Allah yeah. is the one who created the wisdom. I'm not going to go in details because like look like we are we are going nowhere with this. But look at the verse you chose for me. It says and I will guys are asking you listen listen let us see the wisdom. They are asking Muhammad about the ruh which mean yeah the soul the soul he said yeah say say the ruh is from the from the knowledge of my God. I mean, this is this this is this, where is the wisdom? Yeah. So so who who is who is the command and who is the knowledge of God? But this, there's no command. Hold on. I mean, they are asking you the question. Your answer says they are asking to him. So he asked Allah, and then Allah he asked is he answer saying this is the command of my Lord. The, the one is talking is Allah. Talking isn't Allah. The one that. No, it's talking is okay. the wisdom. The wisdom passing on the message friend, from Allah. You kept, saying, you kept saying the wisdom. Do the wisdom speak of Allah, or the Allah wisdom is separated from Him and have nothing to do with Him? No, the the wisdom. The wisdom was given authority of the heavens okay. and the earth. Is the wisdom is, a, is the wisdom is the wisdom is the is the wisdom is a creature speak by itself, or Allah is speaking? Um, speak by itself, and so the wisdom is a divine. In, uh, the wisdom is a divine. Parts, it must the the wisdom yeah yeah so the, the wisdom is divine not not a divine like God but he so he was created God from God Lord from Lord uh, and okay. he taught mm, okay so the wisdom is yeah. created from Allah and it is divine and now the wisdom is speaking by itself so Allah have nothing to do with this no Allah he entrusted him and he has trusted him to be the wisdom he created and you just said him who is the, is the wisdom you just who said you just said him. You, you just said him the wisdom yeah. is him him who yeah god is, cp the wisdom is god who is the wisdom of god 
I don't know. I'm asking you. You said him. Allah has trusted the wisdom. Him. Him. Him who? Him the wisdom, right? Yeah. The first creation. Okay. okay. Why you are saying him? Is he a male? The wisdom is a male. Yeah. Yes. The wisdom is a male. Okay. Yeah. All right. He's so when, the, when, as, when, the, when the male the was the male, okay, when the when the male wisdom of Allah, he spoke, he says, they are asking about the spirit, says only Allah knows. So what what is the where is the wisdom in the answer? He tells him the okay, ask me the, ask the me about ask me about an, ask Lord. about a new ask me about how the sun is created. Ask me. Ask me the question. You want me to ask you how ask, Ask me how the sun is created. How how is the sun created? Okay, now my wisdom is going to answer. You will say it's only Christian friends know. Uh, how what is okay, the where is the wisdom? That's, that's, that's where, is the, where is the wisdom in that? Where is the wisdom in that? That that doesn't mean anything what you just said. It's got nothing but to this do is exactly with what we're talking about. This is exactly what the verse is saying. The yes, verse they are, they are asking. They are, asking him, man, but... they are asking him, what is the spirit? You answer them by saying, only Allah knows, but you are Allah. You are saying to me now, the wisdom answering, no problem. So you, I ask you the same question. Ask me how the sun is created. The, the and then I said, okay, you ask the, answer the, in the, verse. the answer is coming from my wisdom. My wisdom says only Christian friends know. No, the answer this is, the, the is in the verse. In yeah, the verse, verse says. This is from the knowledge of Allah only. It says there from the knowledge of Allah. Yes. Yeah, so and what the, you know is better. Okay. So what no. is the answer? So what is the answer? What is the answer? Knowledge is. Yeah, I tell you, it's the knowledge. Knowledge is what? Wisdom or no? My friend, what we learned is from knowledge. this verse about the spirit. Now, not wisdom. We, what knowledge, we learned wisdom. about it, they are asking him, "What is the spirit? Where is the answer? Nothing. There's no answer. It's there. It's from the knowledge of my Lord." Who but is the not, knowledge? This is not an answer. They are asking him to ask his Lord. Wisdom. My friend, they are asking Muhammad to ask his Lord. They knew he, is, he have a Lord, supposedly. So when the Lord says the knowledge from is my Lord, this is stupid. No, the, what, what does knowledge mean? Okay, let me ask you. Is knowledge wisdom? Let me ask you. Is, is, is the story about the seven sleepers is a true story or it's a fabricated story? Oh, sleepers, let's finish this one. Huh? Is knowledge... Wisdom, yes or no? Yeah, we are talking about knowledge. We are talking about knowledge. Is the story of it's the seven sleepers is from the knowledge? knowledge wisdom. No, no. Is from Before the we get to the seven sleepers. When the verses speaking about the seven Be sleepers, do Allah yes. and have a knowledge about them or not? CP, before we get to the seven finish, is knowledge, wisdom, okay. yes or no? No, the problem here I'm asking you, and I don't want to repeat again, please. That when the story in the Quran, you said to me you don't approve all the Quran. So I'm trying to figure out when no. the Quran speak about all the, of it. those who sleep in the cave. Do Allah knew their story or he do not know? Look be, before before we go there. Why we want to jump to there? Because so this, let's finish because the verse we are that we're talking to about. Find, we are trying. No, we are trying to find the knowledge of Allah. And as long you said to me you don't accept all the Quran, so I'm trying to find what you accept so we can talk about. I, I'm limited now. Yeah, and I and I and I told you what I accept. And we're sticking okay. to the verse. So, the, so, let's so you are stick... saying to me, you, so you are saying to me, this is the only verse in the Quran you accept. Yeah, for, for now, for now, we picked one. Next yeah. one, once it's finished. Okay. Yeah. Well, what so, about what about the verse? The verse number, what what about the verse number eighty-eight in the same chapter, three verses after? Is that from Allah too? Um, let me read it. Yeah. Um, if the mankind and jinns were to together to produce the like of this, produce the like thereof, even if they helped one another. Hmm. Yeah, look, we can, we can go to this one next. Next, let's finish. Let's finish the okay, but do you, so do, you, so do you accept this chapter or do you accept only that verse in the chapter? Well, I would have to read over the chapter, I haven't memorized. The Quran. Oh, so, so my friend, you, you don't have a religion. You are, you, are, you, are, you are like a guy who is going to the grocery store. I like this tomato. I don't like this tomato. So you, you are confused even about the same chapter. I accept this verse. No, 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 no. That's, that's, that's yeah, false. That's because because saying, if, 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 then, then let me repeat. Do you have a chapter no. you accept? If there is one chapter in the Quran, is coming from Allah. Yeah, all, the, all the chapters are coming from 
from Allah. This one, but there's this verses one is coming in from it Allah. That have been, uh-huh. There's verses in it that have been um, injected with by humans. Okay. Um, their but agenda. This mean, but, this mean, but this is mean you cannot trust the Quran because the Quran full of injection, but talks. No, you can't trust it because there's verses that say that you know, uh, and people that are wise, they would understand okay. these verses and other people. And that, that's very clear because you can see okay. there, how a lot there of people is a verse, their lives there is a verse saying, there is, there is a ver- verse says, Inna anzalna al-zikr, hmm? and we are going to protect it. Is that from Allah or not? Yeah. Huh? So that was sent down to the wisdom to, to tell everyone. Okay, is that, a, that is that protected or not? And the original is that, is that, and is, 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 okay. Do you accept this verse? Do you accept this verse in, in chapter 15, yeah. verse number nine? Yes, okay, but you just shot yourself in the foot because it says that we send down the book and we are going to protect it from corruption. But you are saying to me in the same time, the Quran is full of corruption, so your God is a false God, yeah, yeah, no, uh, so it is, it is protected what people write on a piece of paper right now i can get a i can get a quran okay. well, hold I, can, on. I can print so it guys, guys. Out and i can change verses and everything yeah so, so now you are saying this is to normal me, this so you are saying to me okay hold on so allah he said he will protect the book but he could not yeah, protect protected. it in the papers he could not protect it in the papers he protected where he, he that's preserved it will never change there's a lot of people that know it where where you just and said to me the quran in front of us is full of lies i mean it's you who's saying that you are on the, on the same time you are saying to me it's preserved it is okay it is preserved How it is a preserved the physical okay. book listen listen what physical book what is the physical book the one you you accept the, the whole book do you do you have it have it huh yeah, we have the whole book. The whole book Where? is there. It's in front of you. And there's verses that have been uh, changed. Okay, that means corrupted. Even, well, exactly what I told you. All the books have been corrupted. Human. You see, don't change topic. You know, when you say all book is corrupted. It's I'm not. It's still the, the same phone. topic. So when Allah, he says, I will, I'm talking I will, about all of I will I'm guard talking when Allah, he says, and Allah, he said, we will guard it. Did Allah keep his promise? Yeah, the, the real Quran is guarded. So where is the Quran which is protected? It's You have it in front of you. Yeah. Okay, uh, Amir, are you asking me to hang up on you? Uh, no, I'm you not asking saying, you to hang up on me. You keep, you keep saying, I don't know if you are, you are like trolling now, you keep saying the Quran in front of me is full no, of... No, I'm not trolling. Aren't you the one who said from the beginning this Quran is full of fake verses? Did you say that or me? I'm saying that. Yeah, I didn't say full. Okay. Then, words in my mouth. I then, say, then. I said there's okay. verses that are not supposed okay. to be there. Okay. There's verses that that's mean it's corrupted. Well, that's what I told you from the start. All the books, okay, all but, the books but this mean, corrupted. But this means this verse, but this mean, but this mean this verse, which you accept, is false too. But you told me you accept this verse. It says that we will guard the book. We will guard it. So did Allah, was he able to guard the book? So look what happened now. Your God, Allah, he did not know how the baby was created. You said to me, somebody change it. Uh, uh, your Allah, uh, they ask him about the spirit. He says, Allah knows best. Where, where is the answer? This is a stupid answer, not why. The answer, answer. the answer is the knowledge. The answer is the knowledge. It's from the command of my okay, Lord. The, okay, Lord. We, ask, is the... we, ask, we ask Allah. You tell me, I'll answer the knowledge. I'm asking you. The Allah, he yeah. answered. Allah knows best. So what is the answer? It's there. It's the knowledge. Where? It's from the. Where is the answer? Knowledge, my friend. From the knowledge, what is the answer? I'm asking, what is the spirit? You yeah, what is the spirit? Is, the spirit. You, you don't it's tell the me command. It's, it's the command. Who's who's the spirit? Who, who's the who's the spirit? You tell who's me what spirit? is the spirit. What is the spirit? Go ahead. You know, tell me who's the spirit. Since since it's not, not, not the answer. No, there's there is there is, there is two things. There is a spirit and there is a soul. Is that, is that yeah. true or the same? Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. You Muslims have a soul. You don't have a spirit. It's false. It's false. Why? Why? 
because uh, with women, there there is a spirit. Ruh al Qudus. Okay. Who's that? Okay. Who's Ruh al Qudus? Ruh al Qudus. Okay. Ruh al Qudus yeah. is a Ruh al Qudus. What Qudus mean? Well, you are quiet. What Qudus mean? No, I answered. I answered the Ruh al Qudus, the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Who is that? Okay, so it's a Holy Spirit. Correct? Yeah, yeah, correct. It's holy. If there is if there is someone beside Allah is holy. Allah is above the holiness. I'm asking you. Don't, God is don't above. Know, above. I'm yeah, asking yeah. you. Is he holy? Is he the only holy or he is not? And he created the holiness. How he can create the holiness? How is that work? Because he's he's above holiness, he's above wisdom, what do you mean he's by above, above holiness. Creation. How you can be above holiness? How you can be above you can, holiness? Do you know what God, holy God, means? God can. Do you know what holy, only God? Do you know, do you know what holy means? Do you know what holy means? Do you know what, do you know what holy, holy? Do you know what holy means? Tell me what holy, holy means. Pure. He have no sin, no mistakes, no yeah. error. No, yeah. no bad ethic. Perfect perfection. So how yeah. he can be above, how he can be above himself if he is perfect? His God is his God is perfect. His God is perfect. God's above perfection. You see, you, uh, you are uh, forcing me to hang up on you. Anything I say to you, he says he's above. He's above. He's above. He is, how you can be above perfection? But perfection. God. perfection. <laughs> Yeah, Listen. you can be God. Okay, can you, you God. show me what you just said that Allah is above perfection? Go ahead. This guy. I want to know where, where you, get, you keep saying above, above. I want to see where you get this word from. Yeah. Where it says Allah is above perfection. Yeah. Because He is God. That's okay, where why. you get this from. Where do you get this from? Show me your knowledge is coming from. Your wisdom is coming from where? My wisdom. <laughs> Yeah, who, who is the one who taught you that Allah is above perfection? Books, they teach you that God give is above book. all. Give me, the, give me the verse in the book, it says that. Go ahead. Um, well, well, isn't there a verse in the Quran that says above everything? Allah is above everything? And there is nothing that you can... And he huh? can't be compared to anything. Just as okay. it's a father. Oh, okay, okay, I will go with you. okay, hold on. Uh, Allah Does cannot it... be compared to anything. Okay. Allah cannot be compared to anything. Is Allah is the same as a tree? No, but he can come down um in no, 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 to no, I'm not, show himself. I'm not, asking you, I'm not asking you if he can come down or not. I'm saying. Can we compare Allah to a tree? No, you can't compare him. So how Allah in the Quran, he compared himself to a tree? He, he spoke, spoke from the tree. No. He spoke from not, the tree. This is not what I'm saying. I said he compared himself to the tree. He, he is in the likeness. The he is in the okay. likeness. He is, he is in the likeness of a tree. Chapter 24, this verse number 35. Yeah, so this is exactly what I said. said. He can come down to us in the form that he wishes. This is not the question. But this is not the question. I am not asking is, if he can come down. I'm saying you said you cannot compare anything to Allah. You said that, correct? The Quran says yeah. that. So how but Allah the original he said to you, you cannot, listen, I don't care about original, you know, you compare. You said you cannot compare anything to Allah. So how you cannot compare anything to Allah? And then Allah himself, he compared himself to a tree. And he compared to himself to olive land. Are you there? Go. Hello. I don't have hello, much time. my friend. I don't have much Hello, time. Much time. 
yeah. So Hello? how you compare Allah? Okay, I'm here. I'm here with you. Hello. So. Oh. Hello. I hear you. Hello. Hello. Okay, that's that's going. Hello. On. Hello. I hear you, my friend. You hear me? Oh, yeah. Come on. Don't tell... Yeah. Sorry, cut out. It cut. My bad. Okay. So, how we can't compare Allah to anything, and Allah compared Himself to a tree? Go ahead. Yeah. So His original form cannot be compared. He can come down. Okay. In Where any in the form verse, He wishes. Is, okay. Are you saying to me that Allah in the chapter twenty-four comparing Himself to His fake form? It's not fake. No, it's not fake. He can come down okay. and uh, friend, present friend. himself you to us. Just a, okay, uh, just just take a hike. You know, you are just a kid. You can say whatever you want. We are loving. I'm not going to waste my time with you. So, but we we learn from you. Thank you very much. The Muslims are ashamed of their book. The book is full of mistakes and errors and stupidity. So, what they say? Oh, this book is full of injection. So, download this video. Share it everywhere. You know. And his name is Amir al-Tawheed. Amir al-Tawheed. He is admitting that his book is full of injection, botox. The Muslim, they botox your book. And now the guy, he select as he wish the verses which is true. It's up to him. Yeah, and Allah created the wisdom, and the one is talking in the Quran is the wisdom, it's not Allah. And Allah is divine, and the wisdom is divine. So now we have Allah and divine, and the Quran, they are divine. They are not created. <laughs> you know, you can say, as you wish, we are laughing. But there is no point of this conversation between me and you because you are playing games. You don't have religion. You know, your religion is, you are, you are, you are updating your religion up to you now. You are creating your own. You know? Okay. So, guys, it's getting late here. And I got to go. And that's enough for today with the injection of the Quran. Download the video, share it, and thank you, Tawheed, for the comedy. You know, we laugh a lot about your God who compared himself to Oliver Tree, but he is not Oliver Tree. And he compared himself in the original way. He is not the same as a tree. But he is like, what the heck is that? So I thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord. Islam is potato, tomato, mix, injection, botox, you name it. So, uh, remember, my videos are for free and download for free and translate and add subtitle for free. But when you pause them on your channel, don't forget to...